Build the students up for success by deploying a ghost group. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make sure the students are successful in independent practice while deploying different studios. So what I'm going to walk you through is we're going to deploy independent practice along with three other studios, but the students are going to be built up for success because they're going to be creating it in a way that nobody goes to independent practice before seeing you. All right, let's start out with what are our, our studios. We have small group, and that is with the teacher. So the students are gonna to come to the teacher, okay? We have independent practice, which that's what we're talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about how to actually add an independent practice to my checklist. Then we're gonna be talking about digital content. Digital content is where the, I am going to put in a video or a online program that the school has paid for for the students, so digital content. Then we're gonna be talking about some hands-on activities, which I call future ready. And that's just really where the students go in and they have some hands-on hands -on learning options. Okay. So how does this work? The very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my class of 24 students and I'm going to break them up into three groups, group A, B, and C. So that means that I'm going to be about, so that means there's gonna be about eight kids in a group. That's a lot, but we're just getting started and I wanna just show you how this would work. Over here to the side, I'm going to show you the grid that would work with it. So I have S, G, I, P, D, C, F, R. All right, and we have groups A, B, and C. I don't want anybody to start an independent practice. So this is my first set of studios, so round one. So when the timer goes off, the or when we get ready to start studios, I don't want anybody here because I want them to start with me first. So group A will start with me first, Group B will be in digital content and group C will be in future ready. When the timer goes off, group A will move to independent practice, which is where this build up for success works because I taught them the skills that they are now going to go practice. Love it. Nobody will be in digital content this time, but group B will be in future ready and group C will be meeting with me in small group. Hmm, okay, let's keep going. Timer goes off. Now the students are gonna to move to the next studio. So group C is now going to go to independent practice. Remember, I'm gonna be teaching them the concepts, then they go practice. Love it. Then group A goes to digital content. Nobody will be in future ready. And now I get to see group B. So within the first, three rounds, so here's round two, and then round three. Within the first three rounds, that means the first 30 minutes, I am going to see every single student. Love this idea. Timer goes off, I still have one more round to go. This time, nobody is in my small group, because I only have three groups but I have one, two, three, four studios. So nobody is in my small group. So that means that I have the opportunity to go back and check on group A. How are they doing? Did they get independent practice right? Are they struggling anywhere? It gives me the opportunity to double check and listen in on the different studios. How is the students doing with digital content? How are they doing with that independent practice? By setting up what we call a ghost group, I'm going to be able to make sure that nobody gets the opportunity to go to independent practice before they get to see me. This is a great way to build up that success for deploying independent practice.